Hello everyone, in this video we're going to show you the top 7 Excel tips and tricks you need to know right now. Format Paintbrush is one of Excel's rock stars. It lets you copy the exact font and cell color anywhere in the workbook. To format it for multiple cells, just select the cell you want to copy the format from. Double click on the paintbrush and when you see the little plus sign in it, just click on any cell and go on a formatting frenzy if you want. To stop it, just click again on the paintbrush. Draw border grid is just another winner. To insert borders on a list or table, the normal way is probably to highlight the cells go to the Borders tool and manually select the All Borders option. Now, let's look at this example. We don't highlight the cells. We just go right into the Borders tool and scroll all the way down until you reach the Draw Border Grid and it feels like magic. To stop it, just click on the tool again. The next Excel tip is a very common question I always get. What if you want to select all of the cells with data to the right of a particular column? Well, first you're going to select that column as your starting point, and you're going to press in your keyboard first the control button, followed by shift, and lastly, press on the down arrow button you should see the column fully highlighted. Now, while leaving the control shift keys pressed in your keyboard, this time you're going to click the right arrow button. Now notice how all of the cells to the right of that particular column should be highlighted. Let me know how you like this tip and if you have any questions, you can actually comment below. Flash Fill is one of my favorites because it's a really improved version of the autofill. The autofill as we know it is bound to numerical and simple sequences like dates, numbers, times, and very predictable patterns and so forth. Flash Fill actually identifies more complex patterns. In this example, this list of names need to be now formatted in proper case and Flash Fill does that. The next example is an inventory list, and the last part of the code is the size. All we need is to type the first pattern, press Control E, and Flash Fill does the work. One caveat about Flash Fill that sometimes, very few times actually, you might need to enter, instead of one pattern, two patterns. So Flash Fill identifies the correct way of doing it. Did you know that you can actually copy a worksheet from one file to another in Excel? We're talking about two separate files, okay? And all we need to do is pass one information to another. Instead of you copying and pasting manually, right, uh, a worksheet or multiple worksheets, I'm gonna show you a quicker way. First, you're going to open the recipient file, and also the file that you are copying the data from. Next, go to the Excel file that you are copying from or the file that is giving away the information. Click on the tab of the worksheet that you need the information from. Scroll down. Right-click inside of the tab. Make sure that you're right-clicking right inside of the tab so you can see the Select, Move, or Copy option. On the very top, there is a drop-down that lets you select the Excel file that you need to move the information to. And even, it lets you create a brand new workbook. In this case, we're going to select the file that is receiving the information we also checking 
the main copy option and this works pretty much just like copy and paste just in a matter of seconds if you are creating a master list or you need to collect information based on excel files that you're getting from different sources or they're sending you different versions this is a very quick way for you to keep track of it and copy very efficiently let me show you how to freeze panes in excel this feature lets you keep your headers or columns visible while you scroll through your data. To apply this, go to the View tab, and you can easily click on Freeze Top Row, Freeze Top Column, and on Freeze to finish. Now, what if you want to select both the top row and the column at the same time? Just click on the cell that intersects with the column and the header. In this example is the cell B2. Click on View, Freeze Panes, and notice that you can also freeze lower parts of your worksheet if necessary. With this, you can scroll through your Excel file and enjoy the view. Another useful tool in Excel is to switch windows in the View tab as well. In case you're working with multiple Excel files and you want to take a break from the traditional Alt-Tab shortcut in Windows that lets you navigate uh, through different applications and files, this feature lets you remain focused in Excel and switch files back and forth easily. Before you use this feature though, make sure that all of your files that you're about to use are open so you can see them in the drop-down menu. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Do you have a favorite tip or shortcut? Please share it with me on the comments. We also have a free list of Excel shortcuts for you to keep. Check the link below for more details. Thank you for watching and see you next time.